All right, so Black Clover chapter 252, the official release, the Viz translation is finally out. And today we are here to break that down, talk about things that I didn't get much in depth with in my chapter review, things that the Viz translations corrected from the fan translation as far as grammar issues to give us more context and more clarity for the chapter and how Noelle's Valkyrie armored mermaid form will continue to impact this battle against Vanica moving forward. Now, for starters, I want to talk more about the defense, the impressive defense of Vanica with her blood magic. The reasons why this is a great feat here, because we've seen how Noelle used her Sea Dragon's War and it took out half of Veto's body during the Sea Temple arc. And then we've seen her use that same attack again against Elfana and it removed her entire torso and even Gaja. Gaja had to use a defense spell when Noel used it against him when they went to the Heart Kingdom. He said if he didn't use that, things would have gotten ugly. So for Vanica to use her blood magic beast against a Sea Dragon's War from Noel, who is much stronger now since it's been a six month time skip and to tank that with her blood magic, that is very impressive. That was really the only prominent blood magic spell we did see from Vanica, and it makes me curious what other spells she can use because we still didn't see any attack spells this chapter from her, just defense types. So I do wonder how vast her blood magic is once she let loose in the next chapters to come because we see how Tabata utilized the Witch Queen's blood magic and how different and vast it was. Blood magic can be extremely overpowered on top of the fact that Vanica is a devil possessed user. So I'm really excited to see what she's going to do with her blood magic. Now, Mimosa, this chapter, really didn't see much from her. She was just in one page of the chapter because her fight against this frog, Dark Disciple, we're going to call him a frog because she called him a frog, so we're going to call him a frog. <laughs> but her fight against this guy is extremely overshadowed with the fight with Lord Pachika, the Water Spirit, and Noel versus Vanica. And the main reason is why is because that is the main event. No one really cares about the undercard anymore once the main event fight starts. However, this doesn't mean that this fight isn't important because if Mimosa loses, then that means that Noel, Lord Bachika, and the Water Spirit will have their hands tied fighting Vanica and the Dark Disciple and they cannot afford that. But at the same time, Mimosa has to fight this guy long enough until Vanica is defeated because the Dark Disciples, they're just going to come back after they die because Vanica is not defeated. So she's in the same position as Leo, Luck, and Charmy fighting these Dark Disciples but I do believe that she is going to hold her own but the outcome of this is not going to be pretty because defeating Vanica is easier said than done. Now I mentioned this in my review but I do love the fact that what Vanica stated here about Dante and Xenon she said I wonder if Dante and Xenon are having fun right now too. This gives us more clarity that the battles and the timelines that are happening between Xenon the Golden Dawn, Dante and the Black Bulls while Vanica is fighting the Heart Kingdom it gives us information that all of this is happening at the exact same time i know a lot of us were confused at one point asking the question when are this stuff is taking place are these taking place in different days different weeks but there are some more evidence of this and i will say that for my theory video i have later on this week because it ties into the theory that i got coming up now Vanica also mentioned that she has the best job in the world because she can kill Lord Bachika while dante and xenon have to bring back royal tree magic and dark magic and Instantly, Noelle took the hint. She knows exactly what she's talking about. Noelle only knows one person with dark magic and that is Yami. She doesn't know the context of what they are trying to do, but she did ask what are they planning, but there is some context missing because Vanica was very vague with that statement. This information was only revealed by Dante to the black bulls that were fighting him. Everyone else knows that the Dark Triad is trying to take over the world, but they don't know exactly how and what way they're going to go about it. Really, everyone is in the dark, and that's why when Yami found out about they need to capture him and William, Yami said to Dante, I need to defeat you right here, right now. But Laura Bachiga, she knows about this because this chapter reminded us that all the previous princesses before Laura Bachiga all passed down through generations their power and knowledge to her. And she took a book and realized what exactly what Vanica was talking about. And I did say this happened in a flashback in my chapter review, but for corrections, this did not happen in the flashback. This is real time because it's pretty much Lord Pachika going into a trance. And it's like how Dante or Asta, they talk to their demons in real time, but it seemed as though they just went to another plane of existence. That's pretty much what's happening here. So Lord Pachika is pretty much a walking Google search. <laughs> Now we do see this disturbing panel where Laura Bachiga, she took the book and she's seen what's to come. Now there are different interpretations in this panel. Some people believe that this was the past, this was a flashback, or this is Laura Bachiga seeing the future. Now you can interpret this in both ways. 
I can see it in both ways because, again, Lord Chica is getting knowledge from all of the previous princesses from the Heart Kingdom. Gaja told us that previous chapters back that the Heart Kingdom was founded 1,200 years ago. So the princesses of the past are passing down 1,200 years of knowledge to Lord Bachika. And they also showed the Tree of Cliffloft, the Tree of Death. Is it possible that someone tried to put this plan in motion 1,000 years ago or even after that? It's very possible because how would they know about the Tree of Death if it never happened before? How would Dante know that you need dark magic and world tree magic if it never happened before? Could someone have world tree magic and dark magic in the past? Of course. But it could have been a different method how they used the Tree of Death and summoned demons. Of course demons existed thousands of years ago because hence the name Demon Slayer Saurus that Licked is carrying. If you're walking around with a weapon called a Demon Slayer 500 years ago, that means that you slayed demons. It would be weird if you're walking around carrying a Dragon Slayer sword and that sword never slayed a dragon ever. <laughs> Now it's possible that certain demons of the past tried to put that plan into motion but failed, but Dante is the one that's trying to be successful with it. And maybe demons left the underworld just like Zagrit. Zagrit left the underworld, he wasn't summoned. So it's possible that the other demons thousands of years ago left the exact same way like Zagrit. So who knows, I feel like that panel can lead to a lot of discussions, but it was impactful. But the scary thing about all of this is that after Lord Bachika seen all of that, she said over 90% of the continent will die from this. This is why I also believe that this could be her just predicting the future when we seeing those demons taking over the world and she's seeing what is to come. And after that, she tells Noel that the fate of the world is in our hands. We need to stop her right now. But Vanica could care less what happens, but I just think they are underestimating the power of devils, the dark triad are because devils deceive. Who knows when this plan comes to motion, the devils may betray them. And I think that is a separate video in itself. Now we do see this massive spell that Lord Bachika did. In this chapter, she used Mana Zone plus Mana Method with her water spirit. We did not see her say true water magic, but maybe with the water spirit, she doesn't need it, but we do see the ruin technique. But maybe the true water could just be an advanced state of her magic that she didn't need to use. But this is also powerful because she starts drowning Vanica and says that this spell cuts half of your blood magic power. And then at the end of the chapter, we see that in the same process, it also increases Noelle's water magic. And we see our new form, Valkyrie Armor Mermaid form. And she strikes Vanica and this is very impressive because this also makes sense why Noelle's magic also increases within this. We see how Latal's magic, her compass magic when she was elf possessed, how it affects one's mana and magic when they are trapped inside of it. But she also said to Noelle when she was in her Valkyrie dress, it's like she's riding the wave of mana. She also goes on to ask the question, is her armor letting her control the mana within the area around her? And we seen that this statement is true because when Noelle broke her compass, she states this armor, everything that touches this mana is under her control. So with Lord Pachiga creating this mana zone mana method with her water spirit, it also enhances Noelle's magic power because with her armor, the mana is now in her control. Lord Bachika knows exactly, being with Noelle for the past six months, she knows how her armor operates. So this is why Noelle is very, very powerful. That armor is a broken technique. You know, it's overpowered, but I do love it because it fits, it's balanced. <laughs> Even though I just said it's overpowered, but it's balanced, all right? <laughs> But on top of the fact, transforming her Valkyrie armor dress into a mermaid form, it increases her speed within this pool of mana zone that Lord Bachika created. So Noelle doing this is going to push Vanica even further because we did not see her use any attack spells or her devil percentages. But we've seen how in the end of that panel, we seen the devil markings on her body. They start to flare up. So she is going to get serious against Noelle and this is going to be an amazing fight because blood is thicker than water. And with her blood magic, she can easily get out of this situation by drowning this whole entire area with blood instead of water. I believe Noelle and Lord Pachika's water magic is going to push Vanica's magic to its highest level. And I'm excited for next chapter. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave your thoughts in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And if you are new to the channel, subscribe with notification bells on. You guys have an awesome life. Take care of yourselves and I'm out.